Well, 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 guys, welcome back to another of my great videos. And today we are going to be talking about SU-100i. So this thing is uh, a giant uh, Soviet fridge with a naval canyon on it that is 130 millimeters. So yeah, let's get into battle and see how it performs. So yeah, here we are in the battle. So basically, this thing is uh, just humongous, honestly. It's literally so high profile. It has a 850 horsepower engine. <laughs> That's crazy. Its top speed is 32 kilometers per hour. So um, we are today gonna be answering if this thing is truly worth the money. Uh, you spend on it, I think it's like 4,000 uh, golden eagles or something like that. So yeah, this thing doesn't have a lot of armor. It has 60 millimeters of armor on every single side. Now, I don't know why did Soviets, why didn't, didn't Soviets put like 120 millimeters of armor on the front? And like less armor on the back, but who am I to question the mighty Soviet armor? But yeah, this thing can be very easily penned in up tiers, but also it can do very, very well in up tiers because it has 200 millimeters of penetration with these SAPCBCs, which you can use as APHEs, but this thing has also HEs which you can uh, use as well in down tiers. I use them in down tiers because like, yeah, some things cannot be over pressured here. I mean, most things can be over pressured, but let's just eliminate the chance of it not over pressuring. So yeah, I just to make sure they are dead. I just use these SAP CBs. So yeah, I think this thing is very very good but let's see if we can get some kills in it as well so um i got this for uh anniversary or engaging anniversary there we go i think this could have gone through the puma and literally hit him it would have had killed him Oh my god, bro, ain't no way. You oblivious bastard. What you doing there? Oh my god. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was funny, honestly. That was funny. <laughs> bro got obliterated for real. Oh my god, bro. Well, that's two kills. It's literally so easy to kill things in this. You just aim and click on it but it can also die very easily as i just said so let's get a backup real quick now you need to be a bit cautious when using this because i anything can really kill you i mean 90 of things especially if you are in a top in up tier but like if you are in down tier you can you can probably like get um get some ratchets i mean get some deflections on your armor if you can say like that but yeah um another thing about this thing is it has five five degrees of um depression so yeah that hint a whole lot of depression um so yeah, you cannot really do much over heals with this thing. But yeah, I'd say I'd say it's very very fast for its weight. It's sixty four tons, literally. That's crazy. 
But yeah, you can literally one shot anything from anywhere. 200 millimeters of penetration are really crazy. So I can just like squeeze through here. Yeah, I don't have enough refresh for that. Yeah, I ain't gonna be doing that. Um, let's let's see what we can do actually here. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no, what what is going on here actually? All right. Oh. Um. Think this thing has a, literally such bad uh, reverse speed. Actually, you, you have to look out for that. <laughs> you can only go forward, really. Something like Panther. All right, there we go. Absolutely obliterated. Oh no, no. Do that, Emily? No. If you peek, you're dead. Just a quick disclaimer for you, my man. Oh no. No, that hurts. No. Oh my god, bro. Well, to answer the question, is this thing really worth it? To give it a little summary, real quick here. So this thing has just a high profile. It's just a high profile tank destroyer. Like, you cannot hide behind anything. They can get you. And like, this armor is not that great. I mean, yeah, sure, it's gone. Is really really good if you hit anything with it really it will die it will 100% die there is literally nothing that it cannot pen at it especially at its br and uh, when you are in a down tier you can use just h's and bonk everything and probably bounce many shells off of this armor but 60 millimeters is just not enough at its br really i would say this thing is not worth it it might be fun for a while i mean it might be fun but like is it really good at grinding if it, that is what you are looking for no i guess you can get a better premium for money i mean for the g you spent on this so yeah that's really about it 